assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and doing well so topic here that we are going to discuss today it is a typical and non typical transition elements before this start you guys must know that what does mean by the simple transition elements so here we will discuss transition elements so if we talk about this class of the elements in the periodic table the periodic table has been divided into main two groups the group a elements and the group b elements we just notice that the group a elements these elements are called as normal elements or the representative elements on the other hand the group b elements these are called as transition elements now what is the main difference if we talk about the normal elements or the group a elements in these groups the s and p subshells are involved and they are also called as the s and p block elements but on the other hand the b group elements they are called as transition elements and in this they have f and d blocks because their valence shell electrons are present in the f and d subshell for this reason they are called as f and d block elements and they have their f and d blocks partially filled now these are called as transition elements further on the transition elements have been divided into typical and non typical transition elements when we just have a simple look on the periodic table of the transition elements in which we have the group 2b that contain the elements like zinc cadmium and mercury they do not have partially filled do not have partially filled d subshell or either as the element when they are in their ionic state for this reason they do not show the some typical properties that the transition elements must show to any extent likewise for the complex formation for this reason it was just identified that similarly the group 3b elements that contains scandium yttrium and lithium this is another group of elements which do not show many of the properties like the transition elements that are associated to it so they are also as transition elements by definition but there is only one electron in their d subshell in these compounds there are mostly occur in their tri positive ion and they are having almost no d electron hence they do not exhibit the properties of the transition elements for this reason the transition elements have been divided into typical and non typical so let's have a look that what are basically the non typical transition elements by definition the transition elements are those elements which have partially or incompletely filled d orbital in their elementary state or in their element or atomic state or in any other their common oxidation state but we have some elements like zinc we have here mercury the atomic number is 80 and zinc of 30 these are d block elements as well they belongs to group 2b but not transition elements since the all the electrons the d orbitals are paired if we just write the d orbital electronic configuration for the zinc then it's 3d part can be written as it must have 10 electrons the valence shell so it all has there will be the all electrons in the paired form do not have partially filled orbitals at the end here we have the 4s 
it also has paired electron ears valence cells so that's why it can be referred as the non typical transition ele element because it do not show somehow properties like that of the typical transition elements like the zinc here we have again the mercury it also shows the properties of the non typical transition elements after this we have the second class which is the typical transition elements so all the other elements except the group 2b elements and the group 3b elements in which the group 2b elements contain zinc mercury and the third one element is cadmium and the group 2b 3b contain scandium yttrium and lithium they all are non typical and all the other elements like the group 1b to other groups that is group 8 and 7 on the other hand 2 3 4 5 6 2 and 3 not but 1 then the group 4 5 6 and 7 and 8 all are known as the typical transition elements because they have all the properties like to the transition transition elements that must have if we just look on the electronic configuration of the element like chromium cr then its electronic configuration be like to argon and then next its 3d part will contain the electrons like it is having five subshells and then we have here the 4s it also contain one subshell four shell now 3d it contains the electrons like one one all the subshell part contain one electron and here in the 4s2 it contain one electron as unpaired so all the d orbitals are partially filled they are called as typical transition elements i'm just going to revise the topic the typical transition elements that have partially filled d orbitals on or f orbitals on the other hand the non-typical transition elements that do not have partially filled d orbitals or f orbitals so this was the all about today's topic i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and i will get back to you guys soon so the next topic that we will discuss it is the properties of transition elements in detail for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day